my name is Tisa Einastorter and I work for Friends International. Um, Friends International is an NGO that works with marginalized children in Cambodia and in Thailand and in Laos and Indonesia. Our main objective is to reintegrate children to school. We do that through providing social services to children, um, vocational training to youth and um, home-based production to parents. Okay, that's a wonderful product. So when did the, the organization uh, start? The um, Friends International was founded 17 years ago um, by Sebastian Moreau um, uh, when he first came to Cambodia and realized um, the serious situation of children living there. It started mainly with social services, so we've got social workers working out on outreach on the streets with children every day, providing um, life skills education, um, medical assistance and, and things like that. Um, and then it, it quickly developed into a um, vocational training center that we've got now in Phnom Penh in Cambodia, where we provide nine different vocational trainings to youth aged um, 15 to 24 year olds. And that's where we train um, hospitality, um, which is very successful. And we, we now run four restaurants um, in Cambodia. Uh, we also do training on sewing for students, um, beauty and hair and barbering, uh, mechanics, welding, electronics, oh, wow. uh, <laughs> electricians, so yes, yeah, so a lot of vocational trainings for students. Um, but then we realized that um, in order to be uh, successfully be able to reintegrate children to school and keeping them in school instead of on the street, uh, we needed to provide some sort of income for the parents as well. That's when the home-based production was started um, in 2005. Um, and what happens in the home-based production is that we offer the families to receive sewing training um, so they can produce from home. So we give them a sewing machine that they can keep in their house and, they, and we promise them a minimum order of $25 per week. Okay. Um, so every week we meet the producers, we train them, um, we follow up with them and we buy products from them that we sell in our shops. And currently we've got three shops in Cambodia and one shop in Laos. Um, and we're um, exporting as well okay, to, to America, to Europe and other countries to in Asia. As well. Yes. Okay. Um, so yes, it's very successful and um, we have nearly 200 families working in home-based production at the moment. Yeah. So we try to work mainly with recycled materials um, for reasons of environmental uh, reasons, of course, um, but also because these are materials that are easily found in the producer's environment. So um, they're not having to travel long distances to go to the markets to find the materials that we want but they can go and find things like um, motorbike inner tire tubes yeah. Whoa. which we yeah <laughs> and this from the motorbike yes it's motorbike inner tire tubes so we do lots of things like um, laptop sleeves yeah. and purses and things and like that as well. um, okay. yeah. so when you talk about uh, the vocational training centers how many <laughs> students do you have we have about 600 students in the vocational yeah. training center at each time yeah. so of course it rotates till uh, youth can uh, young people can come in um, at any time so there's not a, a strict school year so they can come whenever we have established a relationship with them we've met them we've explained to them they're they're free to join any time um, yeah. So how do you get hold on to those um, young people? We have a team of social workers that go out on the streets every day um, providing life skills education, counselling, information, um, so they, they, they get to know the children there and the, and the youth there and establish that relationship with them. So, I mean, so uh, Friends International is a very um, uh, well recognized in Cambodia, it's a very respected NGO, so um, most most um, young people and children would know about us and so many of them they will come to us uh, on their own and, and seek assistance. It's a very holistic organization which is what I really like about uh, working for friends. Um, so we have a lot of other services as well, so we have for example a drug program, uh, so we run a detox center um, we do alternative care as well, so where we work with um, with alternative care facilities on trying to improve standards uh, of care. Um, and we have a city alliance um, 
which is an alliance of NGOs, so partnerships with NGOs in Honduras, Egypt and all over the world where we uh, provide trainings and, and sort of share resources and, and things like that to try to try to spread the word yeah, <laughs> or help really each other out. Yeah. So how many people work in, in, the, in the organization? Um, in the at Friends International, the the um, headquarters, the international part of the the organization, uh, I think we're about 80 people. But it's organized so that it's Friends International, and then we work with our local partners. So, for example, in Phnom Penh, we've got Mitsamlan, who is our our uh, partner, and there I think there's about 250 or 300 staff, mainly social workers and, and skills trainers. And now I can see you that you are not born or raised in Cambodia. No. <laughs> so where are you from? And what's your background? And uh, I'm from Iceland. Um, I sort of uh, I ended up in Cambodia because I'd been traveling um, quite a few years ago, backpacking when I was young, and and came to Cambodia. Fell in love with it. Stayed for a few months, and um, but then for some reasons had to go back. Um, so three years ago, I've been in Cambodia three years now, and. Um, came with the intention of staying for four months and then going back home and I think it was about three weeks after I arrived in Phnom Penh that I was looking for work oh, <laughs> so okay. it's something about the country it's it's a very nice place to be yeah. so. great great to know more about you and also know about this organization thank, thank you for sharing thank you